Who can resist this creamy crema de fruta? And it's no bake, it's easy. Layers of delights, chiffon cake, sweet custard, fruits, chiffon cake, sweet custard, fruits, and, and top with gelatin. No bake cake here in Channel 1. Please join me at my small kitchen. Fresh from the refrigerator, look at that. Copycat red ribbon crema de fruta. Believe it or not, this is no bake. Someone else did the baking for me. Well, I did not use Graham or similar biscuit. I used a better alternative. The same flavor and almost the same texture as the chiffon roll. Stay with me and I'm going to show you how I made this. It's very easy. I assure you, it's very easy. For the sweet custard, we need three egg yolks, sugar, salt, cornstarch, vanilla flavoring, more sugar, whipping cream, milk, and butter. The milk can be substituted by condensed milk and the cream, the heavy cream can be substituted by this. Your preference. But since this is based on a store recipe, the preference is only cheaper. Which is what we've chosen. For the fruit layer, canned fruit cocktail, and for the topmost layer, we need canned peach, cherry, and gelatin. As promised, this is very easy. Just combine the egg yolk, sugar, and whisk it. Using your mixer with the wire whisk attachment. To save time, we can warm the milk while we're whisking the egg and sugar combination. I also added cornstarch here and then continue whisking until it's adequately combined. Until we have an even mixture with this color. We temper the mixture by adding approximately one third of the warm milk. Not boiling, just warm, almost boiling, and then mix. This is to keep the uh, egg yolk from curdling and to obtain a silkier and smooth texture. And then we add the tempered mixture into the milk, boil it at low temperature, and continuously stir it. It's time to turn it off when we reach this consistency, paste-like. And while it's still hot, we add the butter and stir it, and we get this shine. While waiting for it to cool, let's drain the fruit cocktail and save the syrup. We need it later for the gelatin topping. It's the cold, so we can transfer it to a better container for ease in falling later. We'll continue preparing the mixture. Let's whisk the whipping cream at medium speed for that more stable uh, whipped cream and let's add the sugar gradually. We're now seeing ripples and it's time to add the vanilla flavoring. It's getting stiffer, we're close. Our whipped cream has reached its stiff peak uh, point or stage it's suggested to add if you want if you want to enhance the uh, flavor further use dark rum two tablespoons of this but i don't have it so using white won't harm the dark is preferred because of its caramel flavor but this has the same alcohol content <laughs> two tablespoons approximately Now let us fold the whipped cream into the uh, custard cream in three batches. This is the first. Now the second. I did the third without showing it to you, but this is the result. Now let's assemble the layers. 
Note that instead of using Baker K or Marie or Graham, we're using Lady Fingers. It's widely available. The sort I have here is the crunchy. <laughs> if you have the softer version at the bakeries, use it. Now, to be able to use this, to make this softer, and to make it more adhesive to the sweet custard, I'm going to soften it by wetting it. Not totally, but just moistening it with milk. And we apply the first layer of sweet custard. And pour and level our fruit cocktail. Press it down. And lay the next layer of lady fingers. Same process. Press it down firmly. Now, the second layer of sweet custard. Flatten it because we are now applying the topping. The peach halves or quarters. And give it a red touch using the cherries. By the way, the cherries are darker than usual. No artificial coloring used here by the manufacturer. It looks good. We're not yet done. We'll top this with gelatin, but let's allow it to settle first to establish two hours in the fridge. And for the gelatin topping, we can use either the traditional agar-agar, which requires boiling, or the more modern and quick uh, gelatin uh, sheets, which don't require boiling, just uh, soften it in cold water and add it to the uh, warm liquid, which you want to coagulate. Just follow what's at the back of the packages. Very easy. I'm going to use this sort of gelatin, so I just need to warm the uh, syrup. This is more than enough, I'm not going to add more water. While this warms, I'm going to soak four sheets of this, or four leaves, just to soften them. Soak in cold water. If you're wondering what are these sheets of gelatin paper, or gelatin cheese, they look like this. I'm gonna use four. Totally immersed, just to soften it. As I've said, it does not have to boil. What a convenience, it instantly dissolves. Sugar can be added according to your taste. It's not cold enough to be poured on top of the uh, cake. I'm going to use this small ladle to be uh, gentler. I don't want to ruin the surface of the cream. almost overflowing into the fridge. See you tomorrow for the uh, plating and for the serving and the sharing.
Not the easiest cake to serve, but it's delicious, I guarantee. Thank you for joining me here today on Channel One as we grow, cook, and share. Try this at home. Use lady fingers. Until next time, and see you on the next video. If you're watching this during Christmas, Merry Christmas.